so I wrote a book and today I thought it was finally time to share a little bit more about it with you. If you've been here hanging out, you will know that I can't stop talking about this book, but it's coming out on October 17th and is currently available for pre-order. And I figured it was about darn time that I gave you a little bit more of an in-depth understanding of its contents. I've been working on this book for over two years now, a little longer than that even. It's been something that I have wanted to do for a very long time, and getting to sit down and truly put it together has been one of the most fulfilling and exciting parts of my life. It allowed me to take a deeper look at my understanding of witchcraft and herbalism, and really pushed me in ways that I would have never imagined. Also, hello, I am visiting home, so sorry for the background change, but as this book idea was born here, it is a little bit fitting to be back here to talk about it. When I first set out to write this book, I wanted it to be so many things, and while I wanted to write something that was on all of witchcraft initially, I finally settled on talking more about herbal magic and green hearthcraft, focusing in on the spellcraft aspects of those areas of magic. Personally, as a green witch, I work primarily in my home with plants, and this is very much a reflection of that style of practice, though I do believe it would be beneficial to anybody who is beginning practice, as my focus in the book is to understand spell work in its full depth. It begins with an exploration of intuition and intention, breaking them down and explaining them deeply, giving you practices to deepen your connection to each and to explore it in the different ways that you may uniquely experience these kinds of connections in the craft. It continues on deeper into understanding the tools used in spell work commonly and also some herbs that you may encounter. I tried to focus on sharing herbs that would be relatively easy to get your hands on and each herb mentioned in the book does come with a full very in-depth profile on the herb within it. I'm personally very proud of the herbal profiles shared in this book in a section that is the herbal compendium. In there, there's also a guide on fully understanding them, breaking down the traditional ties that we give to herbs, the gender, the element, and the planet, understanding why these ties are attributed to each herb and how to use those ties as a quick reference. Then it leads into one of my favorite sections of the book, an area outlining spell preparations. These are basically base recipes for spells and medicinal preparations. So something like a spell bag, two spell candles, it goes through burning bundles and hanging bundles, or salves, infused oils, tinctures, syrups, really most all of the most common and also a little fringe things that you may use as spell preparations or medicinal preparations. And surrounding each of these base recipes is an explanation on why you may choose to use this style of spell preparation over another, and general suggestions on what is best. There are also guides throughout explaining how you can alter the recipes used and make them a little bit more unique to you. After this understanding of these base recipes, there's a section on working in harmony with the season, understanding the rhythms of the moon phases, and then I jump into spellcasting, talking about all of the steps of that. Then there's a section on how to adapt spells that you encounter, and a whole section on crafting spells yourself from scratch. This is all before a spell compendium. The spell compendium is meant for you to be able to craft spells that you may wish to, like this enhanced enchantment spell. All of them are there for you to work with as you please, and also they're easy to shift up as need be. This is something that I talk about a lot on my channel here, is really working with base recipes that you may have and shifting them to suit your needs, your environment, the ingredients you have, or just personal preferences in the craft. And I set this up in a way to give you a helping hand and recommendations on where to shift and how to. 
ultimately this book is meant to be a very in-depth beginner's guide that ideally will take you out of the beginner stage of spellcraft. It's something that I also wrote is with the hopes of helping people who aren't beginners as well to create a deeper understanding of herbal magic or just to enhance the craft in ways that you maybe haven't always explored. I think there's stuff in this book for both the beginner and the intermediate witch, and I hope that it's something that you will enjoy. I'm very proud of this book. I've put a lot of time and energy into it, and I am so excited for it to be on the shelves and in your hands. There's so much more to this book than what I can share in this video. It's over 200 pages of spellcraft and magic, and it's filled also with my own artwork, which feels even more special. So all in all, I'm very happy with how it's turned out, and I hope it's something you'll enjoy. If you want to pre-order the book now, I'll have it linked in my description down below, all of the different places you can pre-order it from. It'll be out on October 17th in the United States, and about six weeks later everywhere else. And if you pre-order it, it will show up on your doorstep on the 17th. At this point, I genuinely cannot believe that I am holding this work. It's something that has felt unreal this whole time and to finally have a physical copy of it is unimaginable and honestly i couldn't have done any of it if it weren't for you all here so thank you so much for being here through all of these years and being the best people to teach and share my understanding of witchcraft with it has been so special and i cannot believe that it is this point now it's been four and a half years and it's absolutely crazy. This feels so unbelievably special. I don't think I could ever begin to find the words for it. So thank you so much for being here through all these years and I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.